Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike and I'm here to help you get more out of your network. So today what we're going to talk about is every single one of these routers. This is going to be a two hour long episode so get ready for it. I'm just kidding. What we're going to talk about is a firmware upgrade that we're going to be providing for all of our high-end routers. And this firmware, what it's going to do is it's going to take the USB port that D-Link puts on the back of all of its routers, which is uh, normally used for Windows Connect Now for transferring wireless uh, configuration settings from your laptop to other devices. But what this SharePort software is going to do is it's going to turn that USB port on the back into anything from, say, uh, USB storage or a print server or a lot of different things. We've done a lot of testing with all different types of USB devices and uh, just about everything works with it, which is a, a really nice uh, a thing. So what you can do is plug in any USB device into the router and then have anybody on the network share it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to install a little software applet on each of the computers on our network. And then, of course, we need to upgrade the firmware on the router. So let's go ahead and get that done, and then we'll worry about plugging stuff in. Start by going to support.dlink.com and downloading the appropriate firmware for your specific router. Then just do the usual, uh, find, find the firmware where you've downloaded it to, and then upload it to the router. Once the firmware has been uploaded, you'll find a whole new section when you log in. So if you go to the Setup tab at the top, now you'll have a USB Settings button to the left. You'll see a drop-down menu in the middle. Um, the one that we want to use right now is Network USB. The 3G USB adapter is for cellular data connections, and the WCN configuration is for Windows Connect Now, which is what the port was used for. Now the next thing that you want to do is you want to install the SharePort uh, utility onto each computer on the network. This will allow the computers to connect to the USB port on the back of the router. Once this is done, if you right click on the little icon that you have in your system tray, you'll see the utility. But of course nothing's connected. So now that we have the firmware installed on the router, and we've installed the, uh, the applet onto our PCs. Now what we need to do is we need to plug in and install the uh, driver software for our USB device. So in this case, what I'm going to use is a printer, and then the other thing I'll do is I'll show you how to do it with uh, a USB external hard drive. Start by right-clicking the icon in your system tray, and you'll see that there's nothing connected. When I plug in my thumb drive, it's almost instantly available. If I click on the tab, I can click on Connect, which now makes the thumb drive available as if it was connected directly to my PC. To disconnect the thumb drive, just click on it again and select Disconnect. It's that simple. And then when I disconnect, it'll go back to nothing's attached. For a product like a printer that requires device drivers to be installed, what you want to do is install the printer to your local PC first. Go ahead and install it on all of the PCs on the network. And then when you unplug it from your PC and plug it into the router, it will work automatically. You won't have to do anything else um, to get it to work because the drivers are already installed to your computer. There's the printer right here, and if I want, I can go down to Properties, and I could print a test page. So I'm sure that you can see the benefits of adding this firmware to your router. Uh, it's going to make it a lot more useful. So just so that everybody knows, the routers that I'm talking about are the DIR628, the DIR655, the DIR825, the DIR855, and the DGL 4500. So those five routers are going to have this new firmware upgrade. Go ahead and get it, install it, and start enjoying. So that's going to do it for this episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike, and thanks for watching.